here. I'm trying to talk a little bit louder because 95, the highway's right there. It's pretty loud out here. Um, but I am at Gray's Taxidermy picking up a couple fish mounts. Super excited. I ordered them a few months back. Check out their building here. They got amberjacks up here. They have a great white eating an amberjack. This place pretty much looks like Disney World to me. So super excited to check it out. However, last night, Blue Gabe and I went fish gigging. It was my first time fish gigging, but we got some pretty epic footage. So I'm going to go ahead and let that clip roll. thing of cattails. That's what happens when you're in a swamp. You never know what's gonna get in your boat, ever. So always be careful for cotton mouse. back into the water please get your finger in his gills all right all right oh my gosh <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> he's a big one he's a big one let me see what the lighting looks like oh yeah that's perfect my first gig tilapia it only took about 35 tries but i finally got one and i got myself a huge one look at the hole on his dorsal right there under his dorsal how do you like that gig I like it. <laughs> it is very thrilling after you finally gig a fish. Oh my god. I'm... Hold on, I'm on like a high right now. <laughs> what about that scream you let out when you got it? <laughs> I, that was a, it's about time. I just need one fish on the gig, on Blue Gabe's new fancy airboat. First time on an airboat too. This is awesome. Mm. So what are we going to do with them? We're gonna either eat him or feed him to the gators tomorrow when we get done with that video because where we're gonna take the gator, that's where they hold all the nuisance ones and they gotta be able to feed them. All right. So we're helping the environment and we're feeding needy animals. Sounds good to me. All right, put him on ice. All right. Look at that mud she got on my boat, y'all. All right, I got you. No, open the cooler. We ain't studying that mud. <laughs> all right. First one in the box. First one in the new cooler, too. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go get some milk. Mm. Play with him? I wanna I wanna pet him. 
Alright guys, I'm going to attempt to grab this frog right now. That's if Blue Gabe can put it on. Can, oh, here it is. Alright, let's see. Ah, no! I missed! <laughs> multitask that was more trickier holding the GoPro and going for a frog that was tricky another bug hits me round two got him <laughs> oh my god hold on he's so cool oh there's so many bugs hitting me look at him wow He's so cool. Second time's a charm. What's All right. he saying? He's saying, why did you grab me? <coughs> oh my, I've never heard a frog do this. Oh my God, he's so cute. How do you guys eat these things? You wouldn't know what's funny is that's the only kind of frog I can touch. The rest of them. <coughs> He's saying, Mom! Mom! Oh my goodness. Yeah, Wait. You gotta kiss the frog so maybe you can kiss the frog. No, hold on. Do it, 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 it now. Alright. He's gonna turn into my prince. He just said, Get He down. said, No. Hold the GoPro. Oh my gosh. Wait, I wanna hold him for a pit. Ah! Ah! Get him off! <laughs> <laughs> He's on my ear. Did you have a bug go on your ear? <laughs> Whoa. So interesting. Wait, bring the camera closer to me. I can't see it. This okay. Look at this is so cool. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Right. I like these ones because when I touch the toads at home, they don't, these ones don't pee on you. They only pee on Jackie Shea, apparently. <laughs> In her last frogging video, she got peed on by a frog. This one's doing me good, though. He ain't peeing on me. Oh, goodness. What about that big spider? I don't know if there's a spider on me or not, but I don't know if you were messing with me, but I don't do spiders. I'll do any other animal out there but spiders. Look at him. He's, I want him. Dude, this dragonfly over here is like a pterodactyl. <laughs> There he goes. Goodbye. See you later. Hey. Oh, guys. How's it going? The way that we, we do this is we start the fish in two different sides. The left side and the right side. We uh, have two different casts. Once we fill them with a, like a resin or fiberglass solution, they dry. We put them together. We seal them. And then one guy trims them. One guy does the eyeball. One guy does the ceiling. One guy does the paint job. we got 14 sections in the shop. And your fish goes through every single one of those sections before it gets finished. So many hands make a nice fish. And like I said, they're made out of fiberglass. So you don't have to worry about them being too heavy. Fiberglass is a very lightweight material. Uh, so there's not a lot of wear and tear on the walls. It makes it a lot lighter when you're shipping them to places. And uh, they're beautiful. They last a lot longer than skin mounts because of that. Um, skin mounts, they actually break down to the inside. Because uh, they're real fish, they start rotting and stuff. So every 15 to 20 years, you have to redo skin mounts. Whereas uh, fiberglass replicas, you can give them to your great grandchildren. So that's the work we do for 90% of it. Carbon, carbon, shellfish, marlin, any fish you, you can think of, we do. I just did a, a tiger fish, you know, an African tiger fish from a, a river monsters. Yeah, river monsters. The, the one with the giant teeth. Come on, Kelly. Oh, get your, I have come to be on. Get Kelly, your come fish on. right. Well, out there is where we're doing the repairs. We do repairs right there. We don't really do the animals anymore, but wow. we do a few. So when you want to catch this fish in the ocean, let me know. Here are one of our 16 pound bass. Looks like this is the cast for a 16 pounder. Come here, yeah, 16 pounds. That's, that's what that's going to be. Wow. We have all the sizes. We do, we do 
Bass Pro, the Bellas, the Smithsonian Museum, uh, we do Universal Studios, we do so many different places that you wouldn't even know. Wow. Uh, 90% of taxidermy you see is probably drugs. We do like real skin mountains for lobster still. These are one of the few skin mountains that we do, but you have to be a local to pick it up. Oh, yeah, those are tricky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're another one of those that we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're really cool. I have a lobster mount at home, and man, they break so easy. Custom Harbor seeds for like uh, the backdrops to be like one of our freshwater backdrops for large mouth bass. We have the shiners in there. They're all beautiful. We use real uh, over here. We have like a real seed, real samples of Florida keys on these. We have real corals. We do shells, barnacles. Uh, that's one option that we have as a custom Harbor backdrop. Authentic driftwood. like a mahi mahi if you step in here watch your head right there oh my and i got another one in an exotic red wow oh. i'll pull one down so you can get a shot Hold on. that is awesome so i guess some lady comes in here and she does custom artwork on stingrays and he's pulling one down to show me right now that is beautiful wow right that's that's incredible Guys, you know I am a sucker for fish art, and right now, I'm literally in Disney World. I don't even know what to say, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> this is amazing! Wow. People stop here. Yes. Check out all of the, off the Wahoo, the rooster fish. That's on my bucket list. And check that out. Y'all already know I'm about that life. This is truly incredible. I'm so happy I'm here experiencing all of these mountains. But I'm going to pick up my two mouths and I'm going to show y'all when I get back to the house. 